Hi, I'm Dr. Nina Shapiro. I'm a professor of pediatric ear, nose, and throat at UCLA. And as we all know, summer is here, and with summer, swimmer's ear. Summer's here, swimmer's ear. What we see a lot of times this time of year is swimmer's ear, which is a very painful infection of the external ear canal, usually in children who are in the pool, lake, or ocean all day. It's usually seen with a lot of pain. So unlike the ear infection during the winter time, which hurts on the inside, a swimmer's ear will hurt when the ear is touched. You can usually see some swelling of the ear canal and even a little bit of drainage or discharge coming out of the ear canal. The treatment is usually topical ear drops, antibiotic drops, or antifungal drops prescribed by your doctor. There are several ways to prevent swimmer's ear. The one thing you want to do is try to keep your child's ear dry after they're in the pool or in the ocean. So the corner of a washcloth or a towel, don't use a Q-tip to dry the ear. If you have access to a hair dryer, a hair dryer in a low setting about a foot away from the ear canal can help get the ear dry after swimming. There are over-the-counter swimmer's drops that you can use to prevent swimmer's ear. I don't recommend using those if your child has had ear tubes, ruptured eardrum, or any ear surgery in the past. Again, summer's here, swimmer's ear, we're going to see a lot of it, but there are lots of ways to prevent it.